page 116. Module 6. Steering System. Lubricant, gear oil, air filter, and oil filter services. General Concept. The steering system controls the car's direction to turn effectively and safely. Lubricant and gear oil lubricate components of the engine to function properly. Air filters and oil filters filter dirt out of the fuel and the air before entering into the engine. This makes the combination of fuel clean, causing effective combustion. General Concept 1. Steering System Service 2. Lubricant Service 3. Gear Oil and Differential Oil Services 4. Air Filter and Oil Filter Services Learning Competencies 1. Able to provide steering system service 2. Able to provide lubricant service 3. Able to provide gear oil and differential oil services 4. Able to provide air filter and oil filter services 5. Be able to use English for ASEAN Vocation Preparedness Page 117 Steering System The steering system controls the car's direction to turn conveniently and safely. It consists of the following important components. 1. The steering wheel is used to control the car's direction. 2. The axle or steering column transmits steering power to steering box. 3. The steering box compensates the power and support steering system. 4. The pitman arm is a pole connecting the steering box to the tie rod. 5. The idler arm helps fix a pivot point of the tie rod. 6. The tie rod arm connects between the left and right tie rods. 7. The tie rod controls the wheels to turn to the same angle corresponding to the steering wheel. 8. The knuckle arm transmits the power from the tie rod to the wheels. Steering wheel, steering column, steering gear, pitman arm, tie rod, tie rod arm, idler arm, knuckle arm. Page 118. Defect in steering system. Loose steering wheel. 1. Loose steering wheel. When driving on smooth road at high speed, the front wheels start to flick and the steering wheel is hardly controllable. 2. The possible causes of the defect. The joint lever for steering is eroded, especially at the tip of the tie rod. The steering gear is highly eroded or is set improperly. The bearings of the front wheels are highly eroded. The gear housing has not been attached to the car body tightly. Upper mounting plate and bearing. Coil spring. McPherson strut. Bellows. Rack and pinion unit. Anti sway bar. Steering knuckle. Tire. Outer tie rod end. Ball joint, inner sicket assembly, inside bellows, rack and pinion bushings, control arm bushings, control arm, upper ball joint, upper control arm, control arm bushings, power steering gearbox, shock absorber, lower ball joint, Lower control arm. Stabilizer link. Idler arm. Inner tie rod end. Center link. Pitman arm. Adjusting sleeve. Page 119. 3. Checking for the causes of the defect. Steering wheel is loose. 
measure the space of steering wheel circumference or the angle that the steering wheel can turn before the wheels turn right or left from a vertical line. The normal loose space of a steering wheel is about 10 to 30 millimeters measured from the steering wheel circumference as shown in the picture. Heavy steering wheel. One, characteristics of a heavy steering wheel. When driving, one needs to use more power to steer. Two, possible causes of the defect. Low tire pressure, bad wheel alignment. The oil in the steering gearbox is dry or bad. Lack of grease or damage to the bolt joint of the front wheel's balance system or front wheel's bearings. Improperly adjusted steering gear. Page 120. Three, checking for causes and urgent solutions. First, Check the tire pressure and joints of poles in steering system to see whether they are lubricated. To check thoroughly, place jacks at the front tire shaft and check the joints in the steering system to see whether they are tight or loose, including the gear housing, idler arm, bolt joint, and the joint at the tip of the tie rod. When checking those parts, one must turn the steering wheel to one side fully and then turn to the left and right a little many times. Then turn to the opposite side fully. Then turn to the left and right a little as before. One person should turn and another one should check the loose space of the steering wheel is very important because if it is too loose it might cause an accident when driving. Unbalanced steering wheel. 1. Characteristics of an unbalanced steering wheel. When driving on a smooth road, the car is dragged to one side except when holding steering wheel tightly. 2. Possible causes of defect. Uneven tire pressure. Tire circumference of left and right wheels is not equal. Bad tire alignment. Page 121. The coils of the car's balance system are fatigued, broken, or attached improperly. The bearings are damaged or installed improperly and the wheel nut is not tight. Brake works only one side of front wheels or rear wheels. 3. Checking for causes of defect and urgent solutions. First, make sure that the load including passengers is spread over the car evenly then check the tires and pump the front tires equally. Similarly, pump the rear tires equally. Turn the steering wheel straight. Drive slowly on a smooth road. Hold the steering wheel lightly. Notice the car's direction carefully. If you are sure what the direction the car is dragged to, check the diameter of the outer circle of the left and right tires. They should be equal. Do the same to the rear wheels check whether any coils are fatigued or broken and check the brake. If such a defect is not found but the car is still dragged to one side, take the car to a shop to adjust the tire alignment for your safety. This type of defect must be fixed immediately. Page 122. Shaking steering wheel. Shaking steering wheel is when at a certain speed the steering wheel will shake and the car body starts shaking. When the car accelerates or decelerates, the tremble disappears. The cause is mismatched tire angles and an unbalanced center of gravity. Steering system service. Tools, equipment, and materials. One, training car. Two, grease gun. Three, steel scale. Four, air pump and air gun. 5. Ball joint. 6. Power oil. 7. Grease nipple. 8. Fender cover. 9. Hand towel. Procedures. 1. Prepare tools and equipment. 2. Move the car into the working area. Open the hood and cover fender. 3. 
use an air gun to clean the knuckle arm, tie rod, ball joint, idler arm, tie rod arm, pitman arm, and steering box. Suggestions 1. Do not fill power oil over the limit because the power steering system may be damaged. When checking at high temperature, the oil might burn the body. Page 123 Procedures 4. Shake the parts to see which one is loose according to number 3. Replace it if it is loose. 5. Inject ball joint grease at steering points according to number 3. 6. Check and fill steering box oil to proper level. 7. Check and fill power oil to the upper mark level. 8. Adjust the wheels straight and steer steering wheel lightly. Measure steering wheel free space. It must not exceed 30 millimeters. 9. Clean and keep tools and equipment. 10. Move the car out of the area and clean the working area. Vocabulary Axle Compensate Knuckle pin Circumference Fatigue Trembler Bucket Accumulate Glitter Filtrate